Welcome back to the channel. So, you've seen all the drifting videos and um, from on that off, you've seen what we struggled with. So we have been thinking and we're at the drawing board and we're making plans. So, in this episode, first things first, drift games, never give up tea. Thank you very much, lads. And I'm glad that I was able to help you out in the smallest of way. But um, if you haven't got these t-shirts, Never give up, lads, and get onto the Drift Games website, grab some merchandise, help the lads get back on their feet again. Um, so, thanks, lads. Okay, this episode, uh, new tent. Uh, car's going on the shredder. Me and Abby is going for a long drive uh, to get a lot of work done. And, um, yeah, so, I'll explain all the rest during the episode. First things first, always check your trailer before you're going anywhere, lads. If you're drifting, rallying, whatever you're doing, I always just have a quick check around the trailer and it pays off because I've got a tire that is completely out of shape and has wire all sticking out of it. So, imagine trying to mess with this to change that and decide the road with a car and the trailer. So, um, yeah, always check your trailer, make sure it's good. All right, Bailey. Check that tire there now. Okay. So I always have a good spare, so I'm gonna put the good spare on now, and I'll leave that as a spare if you're very, very stuck. Um, that might come into use, but I will be getting that changed. But yeah, it's always good to check, make sure everything is okay, and uh, yeah, it just makes your life easier on the road with the trailer. We are on the trailer, loaded up, ready to go, and it is a beautiful day here in Ireland. Anyone see the Northern Lights last night? Yeah, kind of take a look at them now. But anyway, we're heading up to Northern Ireland, up to the Calvin Tires, where we will explain a lot more. Why we're heading there? It's not just for tires this time. Uh, there's something else in the making, so we'll head on up there. Abby, you got the sunglasses? There you go. Perfect. Let's go. Right, we're back at Kelvin Tires. Is that right, lads? Kelvin, yeah. yeah, I'll be slagging because I keep pronouncing it wrong. But <laughs> uh, we're back here and we're not just here for tires. Um, as you've seen, we struggled with steering in round one. And yes, the setup, I can agree. We just couldn't figure it out, couldn't get it set up right. And Gareth here at Kelvin couldn't look at me any longer. And he says, here, get your car up. So the car is here in Kelvin Tires. And basically, Gareth, what are we doing here? We're taking out this lock kit that you've in because it's shade. Shit. And we are putting in a new developed lock kit. So we're not announcing brands or anything like that? No, yet, we'll, no. Let, we'll show the brands whenever we put them in. We're going to do a video when we put them in. Yeah, um, so we're leaving the car here and then Gareth will be getting we're getting on a few here. clips and yeah, bits and yeah, pieces. Clips for you, and then we'll send it to another guy that's well known in the, the industry to yeah. give it the properly set up geometry and mm. etc etc and the steels and stuff done on it as well um, we are changing the diff ratio and diff needs to we're putting a diff, different diff in it yeah. if all goes to plan Gareth we could be in for exciting water ass hill so, so go back to the sweat in Mandela exactly you'll not be in the limiter no definitely not sure. um, we've drove water grass hill so every single day at water grass hill we've drove it yeah. so if we can get this car dialed in for water grass hill we're looking to do damage in Watergrass Hill. Well, not in the car, not not in the car, but on the grid line. Well, this will help it now. You have a better steering lock, so it's something like it's something like a waste fab setup, but it's not just waste fab. Yes. Um, as it says, we may we're talking. We may need to step up to an eighteen on the front. Yeah, but change the eighteen inch wheels. You will be. We're yeah, going up to eighteen inch wheels. wheels. You'll be changing the that there, and then we get the geometry and the alignment and all set on it, and then we're going to put yes. in the steels to try and get her balance out because she's not nowhere near balance. No, she's not. Definitely not. Yeah. I do feel myself it is a bit hard on the rear as well. I'd like to know what spring rates is in it. I'm well, not we'll sure. That. We'll get into her and get into the nitty gritty with the diff to pull in her anyway, so we'll check all out whenever she's in. Um, yeah. And we'll see what Actually, um, the springs on the rear, we might need to, what do you call it? Set the tension on them or that yeah. the springs might be tightened up a bit too much on the rear yeah you know the, very, i think she's too hard at the back oh she way too hard stocked up even. way too hard because yeah. she's just blowing the tires she's off the tires off but no we'll get her we we'll get her set up whenever she goes to uh, get the geometry and the alignment and all done yes the so we won't be seeing that in this episode 
But no, hopefully in the next episode. Next, next episode you'll see all the work we're going to carry out. Yes. And probably a video of then of where being set up as well. Aye, and we might get to test it in there as well. We are if plan, we're planning to go we're planning to go There's test no, it as well. Um, we're yeah. We're location sorted, but um, we can get everything ringboard. We have two weeks to get this sorted, so ideally we'd like it done for next week. Yes. If not next week. And then the week after that's Watergrass Hill. It's, it's going to be midweek before Watergrass Hill. <laughs> Jesus. So right. That's what it's going to be. We're just running tight for time. <laughs> oh, we love pressure on this channel. Right. Okay. Get a little montage of the car. Me and Gary are talking a little bit of business. And... Uh, yeah, we're going to hit the road back along for Drift Master on this weekend. Yep. The Irish boys. Night, it was uh, interesting. But it's tough now for the Irish lads over there. I know you're trying your best and we all know where you're coming from, the pressure and stuff like that. But Dwayne's in the mix, so hopefully Dwayne can do his proud over there. Yeah. But um, right, let's wrap up here, get back on the road. So we're back in the shed, the car is with Kelvin Tires now to get this new lock kit in and get the whole car set up. Um, back in the shed and our new tent is still standing. So um, it has been pumped up for like two days now and still sitting absolutely perfect. So um, China Services Services, Jerry, I was talking to him this tent here is a three meter by three meter uh, tent and he's given me some prices. I had to write them down there, but basically this tent with the designs on it um, and stuff, a little bit of montage of it after this, but this tent here is basically costing 900 euros uh, shipped to your door. No customs, all that sort of stuff. Uh, 900 to your door. He's telling me a four by four meter tent is 1100, five by four. Five meter tent is 1300 and you can actually get this tent in a six meter by six meter tent which is pretty big uh, that's 1600 euros to your door that is with your branding on it obviously if you go with more branding or you want to put all your sponsors names on it and stuff like that it may be a little bit extra but um, the tent is pretty pretty cool and uh, yeah I'll do a quick montage of it and if you are interested, I'll leave a link to China Source and Services in the description below. Um, I think these things are really going to take off. And um, once I have the montage done of this, I'm going to deflate it, let it down, roll it up, and show you the size of it when it is completely down. And uh, it comes with a little bag as well, so you just put air, let the air out of it, roll it all up, throw it into the bag, and away you go. Now that's your tent. Kind of all right, because that took that took a bit of getting in there, so it did. Jerry and the lads in China, they were uh, they may have uh, packed that a little bit tighter to get that into that bag, but they must, there's a way of doing it. I must ask Jerry, but that's it. That's your tent done. Um, down in seconds and. I pumped it up with my Dewalt uh, tire inflator, so you can pump it up 
I know all, all the lads have like Dewalt and Milwaukee uh, tire inflators that pumps up your tent. It also does come with a very powerful pump, but I'm sort of saying we go to tracks all the time and maybe it won't have power or something like that. Um, so the Dewalt or the Milwaukee tire inflator will definitely do that for you. Um, but yeah, that's the tent. So that's the tent, the car's away. I've got an empty garage and uh, we leave Kelvin Tires to d work with their magic on the car and um, get the new lock kit in, get the car set up, get a little bit of testing. We are changing the diff ratio in the back of it as well. Try and get a bit of testing before Watergrass Hill and the layout for Watergrass Hill, um, I just see have announced it. So it's a layout that I've drove lots of times in the M3, but the 180 could be a totally different story. So. That's it for this episode, uh, bit of all over the place, up and down the road and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, if you're interested in the tent, do get on to Shine Sourcing Services. And um, if you're needing tires for round two or that, uh, get on to Kelvin Tires and uh, get your orders in for your tires. But before I go, I have to do the draw for the tires. So. Uh, two tyre proxies, whether it be 17 inch, 18 inch, whatever sizes uh, the winner would like. Um, we've teamed up with Calvin Tires, we're giving away the two tyres. If you've seen the episode, if you've liked, commented, done all you're meant to do, you're in the draw. So let me do the draw right now and let's see who the winner is. So as you see that there, congratulations to Darren Harn, um, a long time subscriber and done the comment, knows Kelvin Tires as well. Done all you had to do and congratulations Darren. Um, give me a shout on Instagram, Live Goes Drifting or on Facebook and uh, I'll organise to get you your two tyre proxies to whatever size, 17 or 18 inch tyres. And uh, we get you sorted out. Get on to Kelvin Tires. Do all of that but congratulations Darren it's good to see long term long time subscribers actually winning something and it's nice to give something back to all you guys as well hopefully we can do lots more of these if you want me to uh, talk to sponsors and see what we can do to give away more stuff to you and um, do let me know but uh, yeah hope you enjoyed this episode make sure to like comment and subscribe next one we're testing the 180 with the new kit in it properly set up we're going for round two in Watergrass Hill and uh, we won't be backing down. <laughs>